We are back here with some more Raiders franchise action about to head into week number five after a nice bounce back win against the division rival Kansas City Chiefs. We have next week as well. So we can't really look past this Rams team, even though they are 0-4. They still have some talent at the quarterback position. Rob Kramer, the first quarterback taken a few years ago before Max Sampson. And it was those kind of those two guys in that first draft in this franchise that look to propel the quarterbacks of the future. And he's had some solid seasons. Now, the run game, not so much for this Rams team, but you still have Cooper Cup, who is an unbelievable talent. But he's up to 33 years old. He is regressing just a little bit, but still putting up some fantastic seasons. I mean, look at his season last year, still over 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns, ever seen 17.3 a catch. Puka Nakua, he's up there, but he is out for the next seven weeks. So we do not have to worry about him. He will not be available for this Rams team. As defensively, they've drafted well. Telvin Lambert, a great corner who was on our draft board at one point. They signed Matthew Judon, even though he's getting up there in age as well with Aaron Donald. You know, Donald now 35 years old. Defensively, they still have some talent. You still have to watch out for him. Donald, 14 and a half sacks last year. Only one and a half this year, but you know at any moment in time, he can definitely go off and just be a sack dominant person. And we did trade them Jonathan Allen this past off season and Allen had a fantastic single season with us I wish we could have been able to resign him I want to sign back here at all we tried three times and just had to force him up in a trade so Jonathan Allen in that Rams front that could be something to deal with so I was taking a look at the transaction log and Will Levis was released by the Broncos obviously they have gone in another direction with Daniel Jones you have a few backup quarterbacks they're looking at so you know what I haven't really been happy with our backup quarterback spot. And Max Sampson has had some injury problems in the past few years. So we're going to release Hendon Hooker and we're going to bring in Will Levis. I think Levis gives us just a little bit more and somebody, you know, he's not going to probably play up to Max Sampson level. But I mean, if something happens, I can kind of maybe trust in him a little bit. So we're going to sign Will Levis, who I believe has just hasn't gotten a fair shot anywhere. Tennessee gets rid of him. Denver, he's like a starter for about a year, and that's it. So we'll bring him over. I mean, he was with a division rival. Why not? And out of this time, we went with the smug response. I've never gone with it, actually. So I decided, what the heck? Let's go for it. We're facing an 0-4 team. Let's go in with a little bit of confidence. Get in there. Try to get this victory here in L.A., on the road, you know there's going to be a lot of Raiders fans there. There is no doubt about it. So let's see if we can do some damage. Put this up to a two-game win streak before we take on Kansas City once again. As this Rams offense will receive the ball first. And let's get this one underway. Here we go, Carlson with the kick. And this one's going to be out of the end zone. And the Rams offense will start at the 25-yard line. So here comes Rob Kramer and this Rams offense. I'll tell you what, he's had some solid seasons they just have not put it together. And with Seattle and Arizona really starting to build their teams, and you still have San Francisco here, this is maybe one of the toughest divisions now in football. So, you know, at least you got a quarterback, but you got to build a team around him. Kramer going up top. That's going to be caught. And a big time first down. Good start up to the 44-yard line. And a first down trailing Burks, the former Titan, with the reception. Second down and 10 now. Kramer to throw, going over. That's going to be caught. And nice tackle there by Trayvon Merrick. There's DJ Shark with the reception. Obviously, Puka Nakua, you know, their number two guy. We saw not in this game, out for the next seven weeks. So trying to make up for it. They got some talent, that's for sure. As Kramer is going to be brought down. That is a big sack. Max Crosby, that'll knock him well out of field goal range. And on a fourth and 21, that is an easy punt situation and that'll be a question how does this Rams offense offensive line hold up against maybe the best defensive line in football I mean you could say maybe this Rams team has it but man Max Crosby is just unbelievable we got tons of pass rushers Josh Uche is back from injury so we'll see it's Derrick Henry with the run and a great start there for Derrick Henry up to the 47 yard line give him a first down I think we're getting a good rotation with him and Jalen Jenkins so getting into that rhythm 
with both backs, you know, kind of keeping them fresh the entire game, getting that power from Henry. Jenkins with the speed. And this offense has just really been, I would say, almost unstoppable to start this season. Over the middle, that's a tough catch. Cooper can't hang on to it. And it's going to bring up a third down and eight. Obviously, Joseph Good now out for the next five weeks. So we got to make up with that. As Sampson will take off himself and slam Sampson's going to slide down, pick up the first. So that's where that run game, I think, comes into play a little bit more with no Joseph Good. Maybe he doesn't really fully limit your pass game. You still got Cooper and Waddle and Michael Mayer as there. But if you're running the ball like that, I mean, just hand the ball to these running backs. If this offensive line is just destroying guys, getting to that second level, third level, I mean, why not? Henry with the carry this time, not going anywhere. We got a flag on the play. So I'm sure this is not going to be helping us out. It is not. Holding call against Connor Williams. So that'll knock us back 10. They will accept. And now a first and 20. Can almost get a first down right at the goal line. Sampson wide open to Mayer. Touchdown. Well, I guess that penalty didn't hurt us at all. As Michael Mayer just stick nod route. Works out perfectly. I mean, no seam covered at all. And Mayer's got it for the touchdown. He has been unbelievable this season. Just a touchdown machine. And you know what? I think that's a career high. That's his fifth touchdown of the season. I don't think he's had any more than four ever. As Henry was actually injured on that play. Hit pointer. So he'll be able to return. But Michael Mayer in for the score. 7-0 lead. So how do the Rams respond? Get it into the hands of Cooper Cup. I'd get it in the hands of that guy all day. Third and two. Kramer. Down the field, but knocked away. Nice job by Oliver. They were looking for Cooper Cup, but Cam Oliver all over him. And that is a quick three and out there for this Rams offense. So the question is, how do you stop our offense? And that's not good. Matthew Judon all over it. Jalen Waddell going nowhere in a third and 13. Lately, it's been really us that have been in the way of ourselves. Samson. Time to throw, looking down the field, looking for something. Flings across, and he's got his man caught, and that's a first down. Trey Tucker with the reception. What a throw there from Sampson. Kind of three-quarter arm on the run, gets the job done, and now flings it to Waddle. Waddle's got room to run, breaks off one tackle, gets away from another, and he's got a first down up to the 44-yard line into Rams territory. If you look at the game so far this season, the only time we've ever, you know, sometimes struggled a little bit on offense is when Waddle was out. You know, he missed that game against the Dolphins. As this coming back is Trey Tucker with the grab and a first down to the 19. But every other game with Waddle in it, I mean, this offense has been tough to stop. And if we're getting this production from Trey Tucker now with good out, I mean, we could just run the same type of offense. Looking for Tucker, and he's got it for the touchdown. Well... Trey Tucker's been one of those receivers that we've tried to get involved. You know, he's a third-round pick a few years ago and just never has found a, I would say, role on this team. We've kept him around. And now with Joseph Good out, look at him. He's making some plays. You know, when you bring in some other receivers, it kind of opens things up for guys like this who really aren't going to be a number one or two guy. And, man, Trey Tucker Having a great start to this game. Touchdown, 14-0 lead. As that's incomplete for Higby, but a flag on the play is going to be a roughing the passer call. So the Rams will pick up an automatic first down on that one. That's going to be Ty Reed Wilson, the guilty party. Still in this first quarter with 140 to go. Kramer to throw. Going to the outside. Caught Cooper Cup. That's going to be a first down. He's actually, a, you know, I would say, you know, up there in age, he's starting to get 33. Still a tough guy to tackle. His route running ability is second to none. He's fantastic with that. As Kramer, man, wide open, but he drops it. Traylon Burks should have had a touchdown. Wow. Well, we got away with that one. Over the middle, caught Higby. First down. So if we can at least hold them to three here, we win because... That should have been an easy touchdown. Traylon Burks dropped it. Hand the ball off. Cam Akers with the carry. Akers has got room to run. And Akers will be down to the 13-yard line and a first down. 
As we head in now to the second quarter, this Rams team trying to stay in this game. Kramer looking, first and 10. Pressure, gets rid of it in time. That'll be caught DJ Chark with the grab down to the four yard line. They could still get a first down right around the three, or well, well, two, about two yard line, I'm gonna say. And to Akers, and Akers is gonna push this one in for the touchdown. So, Traylon Burks, pretty much uh, don't have to worry about that. You still put it in for the touchdown. Cam Akers is in. Rams get on the board for the first time in this game, 14 7. It's just a can they stop our offense? Here comes some pressure going up top and incomplete. Thought we were going to have that one. That was a nice throw from Sampson with pressure in his face. Can't bring that one down. Now a third and three. Sampson to the outside, and he had a man open to Cooper and just could not find him as Hobbs, former Raider, incomplete, and the Rams do get a stop. Tough field position to start, but that's going to help out with Akers with a gain of six there. Up to the 11-yard line. Second down and four from the gun. Kramer to throw. Can't find anybody. Goes in. It's going to be picked off Amari Purdy. And he's going to take it to the house. Pick six. Amari Purdy putting up another defensive, maybe player of the year. He has been fantastic this entire season and takes advantage of a bad for. Oh, actually... I don't know if that's a bad throw. It goes, oh, man, the receiver, what are you doing? Not helping out your quarterback, but those are tough picks sometimes you can, because you believe the you know receiver's going to catch the ball, but Bernie is all over it. Pick six, 21-7. As Akers on the screen pass, it's going to bring up a quick third down. So that has got to be demoralizing after a really good drive to get that touchdown. Third and two, outside. That's caught, but that is... A loss of three, and I don't know what that play call was, but a quick three and out after the pick six. And a chance for this offense to get a big lead. As around the corner is Derrick Henry, and Henry up to the 36-yard line, and he's close to a first. Let's just go right back to him. Look at the space for Derrick Henry. Oh, man, up to the 50-yard line. If that's prime Derrick Henry, that's a touchdown. That is 100% a touchdown if that's Prime Henry. But, man, he can still do it. But, I mean, I guess anybody could. If you're giving him spaces like this, Jenkins with the juke move. Keeps it going. Makes another miss. And Jenkins is all the way down to the eight. Gain of 42. Man, the blocking on this team. We've just built a fantastic offensive line. And yeah, just keep pounding the ball away. Henry up the middle to the two. The threat of the pass. I mean, this offense just is very complete. But if we're running the ball like this, just keep running it. And Henry, the ball is on. It's recovered by the Rams. What just happened? Henry dove forward. I thought he was going to have the touchdown. Probably didn't have to dive. Oh, it just... I think it was... Did he just lose it? Donald recovers in the end zone, so it's a touchback. Well, all right. Should have been 28-7. to It's not. And Amari Burney comes through. Devin Parsons picks it up. Well, we're going to get the ball right back. But Amari Burney, sack, force fumble. He's having himself a game with the pick six. Uh, I can see defensive player of the week. No doubt about it, but Parsons, the recovery. Well, we're right back here. All right, chance to really make this 28-7. Let's pitch it out to Jenkins. Gets a block. Jenkins makes a man miss. Another one missed, and he's in for the touchdown. Jalen Jenkins showing that rare ability that made him a first-round pick. I know a lot of teams skipped on because the running backs were just ridiculous in this draft, but I thought he was at least a top maybe two, maybe three running back. We got him in the late first, and he's just showing the ability that just even in those tight spaces, just able to make guys miss. Man, what a job from Jenkins, 28-7, as they try to go up to Cooper Cup, and that's not going to happen there. Third and three. Kramer trying to set up a screen to Akers. As, oh man, Luke Burke can't get the tackle. 
Finally taken out by Patterson before Akers picks up the first. Burke was all over it. Just couldn't finish the play. Four minutes left here in this first half. Kramer to throw. Looking over the middle. Caught. That's Higby with the grab. First down up to the 33-yard line as the Rams just trying to stay in this game. Trying to get some confidence rolling. That's not going to help out at all. Coming through is an Afe Owe. He's, uh, you know, been producing this year. Would have to say. He's looked pretty good. So a third and 16 now. Kramer. They're going to set up a screen once again to Akers. And Max Crosby is all over it. That is going to be a reception. Did hang on to it. It would set up a field goal. They would knock the field goal in. And we're going to head into halftime. 28 to 10 is the score. And, I mean, at least we got the fumble back. But we should have had the Henry touchdown. But still 28-10 as we go into half in control. Let's take a look around the league. Seattle at the Chargers. This is a really good game. Really good game. Seattle 21-14 lead. Chargers 4-0. If Seattle can help us out in this one, get the Chargers first loss. That'll put us a tie for first. Let's go to New England. You got Cleveland. Can't seem to get a victory yet this season. 0-5. Patriots get their first win. Look at Oscar Weathers with 100 yards and a couple touchdowns. Mac Jones with four. Let's go out to Arizona. San Francisco with a rough start this season at 1-3. They still have a lot of talent, but they have a 17-10 over the talented Cardinals team, who we will see in a few weeks here. We will see that team has a ton of talent. So let's get the second half rolling, and that's not how you want to get it rolling. Sampson is going to be brought down, sacked, loss of 14. So now a second and 24. Just a four-man rush. Sampson to the outside, finds Waddle with the grab, picks up 10 as Jonathan Allen's going to be a little bit shaken up. We have not yet really heard his name at all in this game. And a third and 14. Sampson looking, time to throw, fires it up there, and he's got it, Amari Cooper first down as Cooper a bit shaken up after that play. But this offense, even if you get us in a sack situation, a second and 24 does not matter. We have that ability to get out of it. Underneath, Trey Tucker just wide open. And Tucker breaks off one tackle. And we're up to the 44 just like that. So it looked like to start this drive, the big sack is going to knock us back. As Cooper with the quad strain, he will be done for the game. So that knocks us down to another receiver. But, I mean, the way we've been playing late doesn't matter. Is Here is Mooney with the speed. So Mooney brought up from the practice squad, former third round pick, might makes the team this season, uh, a free agent. And he has so much speed with that 99 speed. Gets the catch, move the chains, and now Henry with the carry, not too much there. But one of those guys, if you can just get him on those kind of drag routes, those crossing routes with the speed, man, he can beat some guys. As Kohler underneath and Kohler has the grab down to the five. So I'm saying let's run this at least twice. They're just why not? We got to go for it. We'll go for it. Well, maybe not now. Loss of three. I did not expect that. Loss of three. Now I'm thinking field goal. Yeah. Just take the points here. This will put you up 21. I thought for sure we'd be at least close. Wouldn't be stuffed that bad. But let's take the points. Field goal is good. 31 to 10. Hey, the way our defense is playing, you, you got to trust in it. I mean, number one defense last year. This defense is still tons of talent. As Kramer's going to run himself, slides down short of the first down. So you you got to trust in him. Just get your points. Third and two. Kramer to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Patterson was all over, I believe, Cooper Cup. So I'm saying, trust in it. We're outstanding all over the place. As that is going to be a big time catch from Trey Tucker. I am real. Oh, oh, is that Jalen Waddle? I was about to say Waddle. I thought that was Tucker at first, but Waddle worth the reception. Move the chains is now Henry with the carry, and now I'm saying we just got to probably get to get to Powerball, get to the running game, close this game out. Jenkins with the run makes. I mean, every run of him, he's going to make at least one man miss. I mean, that's like a guarantee. As Jenkins with another first down. He's having a fantastic game as we'll set up a screen. Get some blocking. Cuts it up. 
has another first down. I'm telling you, just get the ball in this young man's hands. It's going to be something good every time. First and 10. Sampson, we're going to set up a tight end screen to Mayer. Mayer gets around to the outside, and he has a stiff arm, and he's down to the five-yard line and a first down. Trying to put this game almost away here in this third quarter. Second down and goal. Draw to Jenkins. Cuts it up. Makes one man miss, and he's down to the four. So a third down and goal. Sampson to throw. He's looking. Can't find anybody, but he finally finds Jalen Waddle for the touchdown. Him and Mayer in the red zone have just been unbelievable. And here comes Aaron Donald, but other than that, the protection was fantastic, allowing Waddle to come across the field there, hanging on to it in traffic. Jalen Waddle touchdown, 38-10 lead, four-score game. Yeah. Rams are in trouble here, no doubt. As they're going to be in even more trouble, Trayvon Merrick with the interception. Nobody's in front of him. He's going to take it to the house. Pick six, second of the game for this defense. And I'll tell you what, if Merrick doesn't pick that off, Amari Bernie is right there. He might have had a second one. I don't know what Rob Kramer is doing on that throw. Where are you going? There's two defenders right there. Both are in front of the receiver. Wow. So Rob Kramer having a rough game. First and 10. That's a good throw to Higby. He'll have the catch, but we're going to head into the fourth quarter. It's 45 to 10. Now the question is, do we rest our starters? Do we get the guys out of the game? They don't really need to be in there. You might be able to see Will Levis in this game. Yeah, up 35. I don't think we need to have guys in this game. As on the third and 15, they try to set up a screen. That's going nowhere. Let's see if they go for this. They will. Fourth and 15. Kramer to throw. Looking down the field. Just going to fling it up. And it's going to be incomplete as Cooper Cup can't hang on to it. Bernie hit there to help break it up. Incomplete. And now... Obviously, the game is a formality. Just see what some of these guys can do. As Trey Tucker with the reception there for Will Levis. Tucker's have, he's had a great game. I've loved what I've seen from Trey Tucker in this game. Dislocated elbow for Tyree Wilson. They get injuries in this time, time of the game. That is not what you want to see. As Levis looking, just going to throw it deep, showing off his arm, but not to the right spot. Luckily for him, just not intercepted. And we'll add a field goal. 48 to 13 is going to be your score. As we'll move on later into this quarter. And here is Jalen Jenkins getting a block from Jalen Waddle. And I don't think anybody's going to catch him as Jenkins with a big touchdown run. And we're going to put up a 50 burger against the Rams. Who will stop this offense? Because right now, I'm just not seeing it. I know it's early in the season, we're very early. But, I mean, if we're running on all cylinders, you can forget about it. And even when we don't have all of our guys in this lineup, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. We have so many weapons on this team. Yeah, Levis can clap. Hey, I just handed the ball off. That's awesome. Man, Jenkins had a fantastic game here today. Could be a, a no, We could sweep the players of the week. We'll see. At least I would say Bernie is as the final score in this game. 58 to 13, added another field goal, absolute beatdown, and man, Samson, 242, three touchdowns, didn't turn the ball over, that is always great to see, <laughs> but Jalen Jenkins, 75 yard run at the end, 204 on the ground, two touchdowns, man, I don't know, I don't know, I was thinking about giving Henry more, you know, carries, but now I'm thinking, do we go and split it equally? Waddle, the yards were down, but at least had a touchdown. 93 with Tucker. So, great game from Trey Tucker. But, yeah, do we kind of split the carries with each one of those guys? That's a possibility. I mean, if Jalen Jenkins is going to show that, why not? You kind of use Henry more. I mean, that's what we were thinking. We But 
We wanted kind of Henry to be kind of that main back and kind of slowly bring Jalen Jenkins on, but maybe he's now shown that, hey, why not? You know, this is give just give me the ball and I'm going to do some great things. He has an upgrade as well. Do we do? Let's do just stick with elusive. Just keep upgrading that. Three awareness, one ball carrier vision. So it doesn't really help us because, I mean, awareness, if you're playing the games, it doesn't really matter that much. And ball carrier vision doesn't really matter too much either, especially if I'm running the ball. I mean, it's technically my ball carrier vision, right? Amari Bernie with an upgrade. We're going to do field general. Two block shed, one tackle, two zone coverage. So Bernie... And he is now the fifth-ranked middle linebacker, and he is a, I think he's probably number three to me. He has been fantastic. So let's see what kind of upgrades get. 1,000 XP for every teammate, so that's awesome to see. Keep racking up the XP after a huge win. One injury you got report, and that's Tyree Wilson. No surprise there. The guy's hurt like every year. Dislocated elbow. He'll be out for three weeks. As we will take on the Kansas City Chiefs once again. They dropped a game last week. They are 2-3. and three. You can see Jenkins and Bernie. We swept the player of the week award. That is awesome to see. Love to see more of that. But against this Chiefs team coming up here, this is a real chance for us. This is a chance to put almost Kansas City, not really away. That'll, you know, it's too early in the season. They had a bad start to the season last year, still in the playoffs. But if we can put them at 2-4 two and four with two victories over top of them, man, that is going to make them tough to really win the division, especially when we have a breakout chance. Oh, that's going to make this even more interesting. But that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Just hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.